Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of representing equations for multi-step problems. This is standard 5.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 33 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a business, rents cars, open for eight hours on Monday. On Monday morning, the business had 45 cars. So the business rented three cars during the first five hours, two cars during each of the next three hours. Okay, so it was each of the first five hours each. So that's making me think equal groups, both of these eaches. And then the total number of cars that were brought back to the business um, by customers on Monday was 17. Hmm. So we need to find an equation that represents the number of cars the business had at the end of the day. That's interesting. Okay, so, so on Monday morning, so let's go back to our problem here. On Monday morning, we had 45 cars. Okay, so that's our start. Start 45 cars. Now we need to know by the end of the day, and we've got cars, cars. Look at this. They, they give you that there's the five hours, uh, there's the three hours. Um, but so those two add up together to get you your eight hours, but we don't really need uh, that eight hours. So that this is extra information because we don't know uh, how many cars were sold during those eight hours. That's what we're trying to figure out. Now, in these first two dots, right, we've got three cars for each of the first five, two cars for each of the next three. That's helpful information, but we don't really need that eight. And as you can see in our answer choices, eight's not even showing up in any of them, right? We're going to do something with the 45, the 5, 3, 3, 2, and 17. It's just a matter of what operations we're going to use. So we're going to start with 45. So that's why all of our answer selections have that, right? We're going to start with 45. That's what we're going to start with. So the business rented. Okay, so when we're renting, uh, we need to figure out what operation are we going to do? So when we're renting a car, are we adding it to the 45 that are already there? Or are we taking it away from the 45 that is already there? And when we're renting, people are going to come to your business. They're going to put some money down, put a credit card on file. They're going to walk away with your car. They'll bring it back later, but they're going to leave with your car. So that means we're going to subtract these two chunks here. So I've got three cars during each of the first five. So I've got three times five, or you could do five times three, doesn't really matter. Three cars during each of the, the first five. And then we're gonna rent. So that means we're gonna take away two cars during each of the next three. You could do three times two or two times three. And then the total number of cars that were brought back. Okay, so I'm going to put BB here. So when we're bringing it back, we're adding it back to the amount of cars that are there. So we're going to add 17. So that's really the trick here, is to not necessarily figure out the numbers, but what operations we're going to use. First, hopefully we're seeing that when we're dealing with equal groups here, and that word each always kind of gives us a clue that we're probably dealing with equal groups. That makes me think of multiplication. So we're going to uh, get rid of C. We're going to get rid of A, because they're wanting you to add 5 and 3 and 3 and 2. But we need equal groups. And then uh, we are going to take away those two we got that here, but what are we doing with that 17? We're going to bring it back, so our answer is D.